Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel Mathematic Girls Party 3226. In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, the basics of shapes. So we all know there are different types of shapes in this world. Uh, everything in fact around us is actually in the shape. Uh, for some shapes, we know the name. For some, we might not know the name, right? But just because we do not know the name, that does not mean that we in, that it is not a shape. Everything is in shape in this world. So starting from a rubber band to a very big thing, everything has their own shape. Uh, as I said, we might not know the name of your shapes, right? So let us start with the basic things, okay? So when I'm saying what is shape, so... For example, if I'm just drawing here something, let's say, uh, if you can uh, see, I have drawn here like two lines, right? They are connected. So maybe I, if I call you, uh, like if I ask you that whether it's a shape or not, you can see that it's not a shape, right? Maybe you can see that it's not a uh, complete, right? Again, the answer is not correct. The answer is it is a shape. Yes, it is a shape. Why? Because everything, as I said, in this world is in shape. Right. For example, if I draw, uh, for example, if I'm drawing this, that's completely a shape only. Just because you know the name, so you will, you know, blindly say that okay, it's a triangle, right? Uh, so that is why it is a shape, and we know the name of the shape also triangle. But do we know the name of this shape that I have drawn randomly? It's like you know, it's like a scribble, right? I have done the scribbling here. So if I'm doing something like this also, is it a shape? The answer is yes, right? So everything in this world is in shape. Now let us know about uh, some basic shapes. So I'm starting with, a, you know, like a word, dimension. I know that this is a very hi-fi word right now, if, it, if you're watching, if you're in a lower grade, but uh, you should understand dimension. Dimensions are basically of three types. Okay, as I'm covering the basics, so that is I'm just talking about the basic ones, right? Okay, so yeah, we have three types of dimensions. One is called, okay, I'll just try, add one more. Four types of dimension, okay? One is called zero dimension. I'm just writing zero D. Second is called one dimension. The next one is called two dimension, which we also call as two D. And the next one is called three dimension. That we also call as three, right? Now, let us first understand the meaning of dimension. You must have heard about these words, length, breadth, height right so these are called nothing but dimension length breadth height maximum you will learn right now about uh, till height only length breadth and height so in the first one that you can see here that is a zero d right clearly you can see here that zero d that means zero dimension that means we have no dimension what is the meaning of no, no dimension it has no length no breadth no height, nothing. And the example of this is going to be a point. That's zero dimension. Why? Because a point has no dimension. Does it have a length? No. Does it have a breadth? No. Does it have a height? No. So that is why it is zero dimension. Let's talk about one dimension. So one dimension can be a line. Now, if you know that lines are actually of three types, line, line, segment, and ray. If I just tell you quickly here, this is called line. This is this is called line segment. It has two ending points. And this is called ray, right? I'll make you understand about line uh, rays and line segments properly uh, later on. Let us first talk about dimension now. So it, they all are having one dimension. Do you know why? Because these all are having only one dimension and that is length. So it has only one dimension and that is why the name you can see, it is, uh, it is coming in the category of one dimension, right? So a line has one dimension. Line are of two, three types. Line, line segment, and ray. Okay, I'll just write down the name here. This is line segment. I'm, I'm streaming, sorry. That is line. Line is something that goes endlessly in both the direction. This is your line segment. And the third one is a ray. So this one is a ray. All right, next. Let's talk about uh, 2D. 2D, that means we have two dimensions, right? What is the meaning of two dimensions here? Two dimensions mean that it has length as well as breadth, right? So it has length also and breadth also. I'm writing in short form L and B, right? It has L also and it has B also. Now the examples of 2D shapes can be a square, 
a rectangle, a triangle, all these are 2D shapes, the one that you draw on a, on a piece of paper, right? The next one, now I think you can understand automatically, it says three dimension, that means it has three dimensions, length, breadth, and height. And the examples of 3D shapes are going to be cube, cuboid, cylinder, and so on. A lot of shapes, right? Here we are going to talk about, uh, like mainly in detail, two dimension and three dimensions, okay? So I'll go to two dimensions and three dimensions, but before that, zero dimension, remember point. And one dimension, the three things, line, line, segment, and ray. I'll just explain you what are the differences among these three things. Line is something that goes endlessly in both the direction. That means it will go on. Okay. That's what this arrow is indicating here on both the ends. The next one is on line segment. That means it has a fixed length. It will be basically starting from one point and it will end at the other point. Right. And the next one is a ray. That means it has one fixed point. And the other one is going to be endlessly in the direction, right? Uh, that's the meaning. Okay, now we can go to two dimension and three dimension. So let's talk about two dimension and three dimension. Let's start with the two dimension first. Here I'm not going to cover the formulas or any other things. That is going to be in the second part of the video. Here, in this particular video, we are just going to talk about the basics, okay? So let's talk about two dimensional shapes. Or you can also call this in short 2D shapes. Okay. Now, before I go to two-dimensional shapes, I also want to tell you that shapes are of uh, you know two types: open shapes and closed shapes. For example, this one is an open shape. This one is a closed shape, right? Okay, so that you can remember that shapes are also of two types, uh, based on open and closed, open and closed. Now, let's talk about two-dimensional shapes. I'm starting with the very first one. Let's talk about here the closed shapes only. So I'm starting with uh, that shape, which has three sides, which is triangle. Now, do you know that the minimum number of sides that we need to make a closed shape is three? That's why I'm starting with triangle. If I say that, okay, I'm having two sides. Can we make a closed shape? We cannot. Now, you may say that this and then this, but you're not using the two straight lines. You're using one curved line. Curved line, I'm, I was not talking about. So straight lines, we need minimum three to make a closed shape and that is what we call as a triangle. So as you know, I, if you want me to draw the uh, shape also, I can draw the shapes. So name of the shape, triangle. Number of sides that I'm going to write down and then the diagram, right? Everything I'll be writing here. So triangle, number of sides, three, right? And diagram, of course, very simple. I'm just going to make small, small diagrams, triangle. Let's go to the next one. The next one is a I'm just going to use a, a, another word that is called quadrilateral, okay? Now, quadrilateral is that shape in which we have only four sides, right? Now, you can see that there are so many quadrilaterals. There are so many shapes that I know for which uh, we have only two, uh, four sides, right? So, we will talk about those quadrilaterals here. So, I'll just write down all those quadrilaterals here in a bracket. And all these are having actually four sides, only, okay? So, quadrilateral is a common name for all the four-sided shapes that we have. So talking about how many quadrilaterals do we have? Let's write down. Uh, yeah, square. I'll just draw the shape also here. Next, a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Next, a uh, rhombus. That looks like this. Next, I hope it will get converted into the shapes. Uh, next is a, you can write down your parallelogram, right? That we also call as a lazy rectangle. So it looks like a rectangle, but it is a little tilted. So like this, this is a parallelogram. Next, uh, I think I'll just write down in the next thing. So uh, next will be a kite, right? Now you may think that kite and rhombus uh, looks like the same, but they are not, they look different. So we have the two sides equal in the kite, the adjacent sides. Adjacent means the one that are directly connecting and the others are of the equal side. So it looks a little different. I think I'll be resharing the screen and I'll be continuing. I The screen just gets stopped. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, so there is a difference between a rhombus and a 
kite, rhombus has all the sides equal. But, okay, so as you can see, the things got erased. I'll just rewrite it. So, rhombus is this one. But you can also ask what is the difference between square and rhombus because in square also all the sides are equal, in rhombus also all the sides are equal. But there is a difference. In square, each angle at the corner you can see is 90 degree, whereas in rhombus it is not. That's the difference. So a rhombus can be converted into a square if you make the angle 90 degree. Okay. Let's go to the next one. That was a parallelogram. Okay. I think I have to do this so that it will the names will not get converted into the shapes. Okay. So now we have the next one, which is parallelogram, right? So in parallelogram, uh, the, the shape of the parallelogram looks like this, this, and then this. That is parallelogram. After that, uh, as I had said, kite. So kite looks a little different uh, than rhombus. It looks like this. You have the adjacent sides equal. This length is equal to this length. And then the other two are going to be of the same length. But the all four are not going to be the same. It just not converted in, into the shape. But I'll just erase it and I'll write on it. So it's like these two shapes are, these two sides are same length. And these two sides are of the same length. Okay. So that's the meaning of uh, kite. Here, the length of this is, let's say, 2 centimeter. This is also going to be 2 centimeter. And this is going to be 4 centimeter and 4 centimeter. Like that. That is kite. But in a rhombus, if this is 3, all the sides are 3. Okay. Next is the last one, trapezium. I'm not saying we do not have any other quadrilaterals. We have a lot of other quadrilaterals also, but these are the main quadrilaterals. Trapezium. Trapezium is this. In trapezium, we have basically opposite, uh, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other pair of opposite sides are non-parallel. That's the meaning of trapezium. And if you notice, trapezium is actually a part of a triangle. So if you have a triangle, let's say this one is your triangle, and if you just cut it, from here, then you can see that you are getting a shape at the bottom and that is nothing but the trapezium, right? So that's what we call as a trapezium. So these are the quadrilaterals and of course, these are having four sides. Now the next one is, let's go to the shape that has five sides and that also comes under the category of a 2D shape. Only, okay. So when we have the five side, I think now I'll not draw the diagram, but uh, for, for five and six, maybe I can draw. For the bigger ones, I'll not draw. Uh, you can check it, that how uh, do they look like. I'll give you the names for all. So then what is the name of the shape which has five sides? So that is going to be, this is the third one, I guess. Yeah, That is going to be pentagon. So what is a pentagon? A pentagon is uh, that shape which is having the five sides. So for example, this, 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 and this. That's a pentagon, right? You can see how many sides. One, two, three, four, five. That is better. Next, what is the name of the shape with six sides? That is called, okay, this is the fourth one, hexagon. If you remember these things, hexagon, it has six sides. So let's draw one, two, three, four, five, six. So I hope you understand the reason why I'm not going to draw the bigger ones because they will not get converted. Right now, these are getting converted, but for the other ones, they will just take the shape of the six sided shapes only. That is why I'll not draw it. So this is a uh, Hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six sides, right? Now I'll directly write on the name. What is the name of the seven sided shape? There are two names for that. One is called heptagon. It's like a synonym, right? So heptagon, or sometimes we also call it as a septagon. The next one is an eight sided shape. So that is called octagon, right? As you know, octopus, right? Octopus is having eight legs. So yeah, from that also you can remember. The next one is what is the name of the shape with the nine sides? So that is going to be nonagon, right? So uh, this is nonagon, and the next is uh, ten. Of course, we all know ten is like a decade, right? Ten years that we call as a decade. So that is why this is called decagon. Okay. Remember here, deca means ten, and gone. Everybody can see the word gone, gone at the end. That that is telling you sides. Gone means what is the meaning of gone here? The sides. Okay. So deca gone. That means ten side, ten sided shape. Okay, next one. Decagon, 10. Next is a 11-sided shape. So what is 11-sided shape? That is called, okay, so normally, uh, like most of the people, they don't know. They just uh, end at 10 only, but we can do two more. That is called undecagon. Okay. The next one, uh, that is going to be the 12-sided shape. That is going to be, that is called as do decagon. Okay. I, th I think that is enough. 
So you just need to remember if somebody asks you what is the name of the four sided shape called quadrilateral. There are so many types of quadrilaterals. If somebody is asking you what is the name of the shape with a ten sided, uh, ten sides decagon. Maybe one can ask what is the number of sides in heptagon. You should know seven, right? That's how we can remember. So these are the basic things about two shapes, right? Now let's quickly cover three shapes also. I don't want to make this video very long. That is why I'll just cover it quickly. So yeah. So 3D shapes. 3D means three dimension, length, breadth, and height. So let's first write down all the 3D shapes that we know. First is obviously cuboid. Next is cube. Next is a uh, cylinder. And then we have more. I'll just draw the shapes first and then we'll go to the next one. So cuboid looks like this. You will just draw a, cube, a rectangle. And then you will draw another rectangle here. And then just add the corners, right? Again, I'm not going into the details of these shapes, how many faces, how many edges. If you're having confusion in those things, don't worry. The second part of the video will come. In that, I'll be explaining everything in detail. Right now, we're just covering the basic things. 3D shapes, 3 dimension, length, breadth, and height. So here you can say that this is the length of the cube. Cuboid, I mean. This is the breadth of the cuboid. And this one, the standing line that you can see, that is the height of the cube, right? It has three dimensions. Let's go to the cube now. So for cube, you will make a square because it is made up of a square. In fact, all the 3D shapes are actually made up of the combination of 2D shapes, right? Okay. So next one is a cube in which uh, you can see that I have drawn two squares and now I'll add the corner. So that is called the cube. So the only difference between cube and cuboid is that cuboid is made up of a rectangle 2D shape and cube is made up of a square 2D shape. Right? It is also three-dimensional because it has having three things, length, breadth, and height. That's another thing that all the length, breadth, and height they are seen. Okay, oh, cylinder. Cylinder is made up of two uh, like 2D shapes on the circle. And of course, you can see a middle part also, which is actually a rectangle. So if you open a cylinder, you will get a rectangle and two circles. Right? So that's a cylinder. Now we can talk about a few more 3D shapes and then we are done. So cube, cuboid, cylinder. Now we can talk about cone. So what is a cone? Uh, cone is uh, like this. It's cone is like, I can give you one example, a birthday cap, right? Ice cream cone, that is called a cone, right? I think I'll ask you one question. Those who, has, uh, like, who have managed to watch the video till here, that I said that cuboid is made up of a rectangle 2D shape. I said a cube is made up of a square 2D shape. I said a cylinder is made up of a two 2D shape circle and, uh, of course, a rectangle. My question is, do you know that cone is made up of which 2D shape? One is very simple, circle that you can see at the bottom. But can you guess what is the other one? Is it a triangle? The answer is no, it is not a triangle. You can think about it and maybe if you... As I said, if you have managed to watch the video till here, you can let me know in the comment section if you know the answer. And if you don't know the answer, then please let me know that as well. I'll give you the answer. Yeah. So think about that. After that, we have a sphere. As you know, sphere, a football. I'll not draw it, but I'll just write down examples. Football, cricket ball, all these are spheres. So there is one more shape that we call as a hemisphere. Right? So what is going to be the hemisphere? Hemisphere, like if you just take a... a a football, and if you cut it into the half, that will be called a hemisphere. That's it. So these were the basic things about the 3D shapes and the 2D shapes, and even the zero-dimensional, one-dimensional. Now you may uh, think that there are other 3D shapes also, which I have not discussed, of course. But I think that I'll cover in the other videos, uh, like other uh, part of the of my videos. All I want to say that these were the basic ones, right? There are other 3D shapes like pyramid, prism, rectangular pyramid, triangular prism, all these things also. But first, we should always start from the basic and that is what I covered here. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Talking about what are these things, perimeter, area, volume, uh, surface area, right? All these things, I'll be making a separate video for that and we'll cover uh, those particular concepts in that video. Thank you so much for watching the video till here. Uh, if you are new to my channel and you have, you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and keep watching my videos. Thank you so much.